Namaste and welcome to the Curious Yogi. I'm Suchi. Today we will be doing a special full moon chakra meditation for the lunar eclipse in November 2022. Lunar eclipses happen when the earth slides between the moon and the sun so that our planet's shadow eclipses or falls on the moon. The full moon eclipse is taking place in the sign of Taurus. So the spiritual meaning is centered around aligning with our values and finding security amidst the cosmic chaos. Just as the new moons are linked to beginnings and full moons are tied to culminations, eclipses serve as celestial checkpoints. In today's meditation, we will spend time connecting with our frequency and clarity of thinking. What are we aware of? What do we need to be aware of? And what are the elements of thought? Am I okay to accept what I am and how I think? Do I follow the crowd or do I stand out? Ready to be the unique you that you are. So with that intention, let's begin. Close your eyes and get comfortable. Whatever that might mean to you. Come in as you are. And just take a few deep breaths and a few moments to settle in. Listen to the sound of your breath and tune in into what you may need right now. Continue to breathe with your intention, whatever that might be. And as you breathe, tap into your spirit. Think of a time that makes you happy and alive.
tune into that feeling and see how your breath flows. Allow yourself to surrender to that moment and begin to feel a little lighter. And from this magical place of surrender, feel yourself lifting from the earth. Imagine a mystical energy is drawing you forward in the night air. And you feel yourself moving across the earth as if these magnetic forces are dancing beneath you, keeping you from touching down. And this force is taking you into an outdoor field where the dark, sparkling sky sprinkles starlight down onto you. You see yourself seated on this beautiful quiet field and you can see it beautifully lit under the full moon. The full moon is hanging above you in the sky. It is glowing bright. You can see the contours of the moon. The light of the moon is glowing all around you, lighting up every corner, every landscape. The glow of the moon warms you from outside in and you allow yourself to be fully enveloped by the moon's light. You allow yourself to be showered by its positive energies. and you absorb as much energy as you need from the moon. You feel more centered. You feel more grounded. And as you're seated under this full moon, You can feel your aura shining just like the moon. Now bathing completely in the moonlight, you raise your focus to the moon feeling her energy blessing your face. You are here to open the magical blessings of the moon. As 
as you're seated under the full moon, you notice a silver liquid light pouring down from the moon. It is a river of radiance flowing down upon you. It is streaming into your crown chakra at the top of your head. Bring your awareness to the top of your head and imagine the silver liquid light of the moon turning purple. The crown chakra is also called the Sahasrara. It is our universal identity, our enlightenment. The crown chakra is what connects you to something more, whether you call it consciousness, bliss, the universe, or another word. It is engaged when you are at your calmest and most peaceful. Imagine the intention, your desire, infusing your aura with the silver energy. And ask yourself, in what place or doing what activity do you feel most at peace? What's blocking you from doing this? And what can you do to remove this block? Allow the energy in your crown to flow down onto your third eye or the Ajna Chakra. And you can feel the silver purple light turning into a bright indigo. You feel the light pulsating in your third eye between your brows. And as you inhale and exhale, you can feel its warmness and coolness. The Ashna Chakra is home to our intuition and our spiritual connection. The third eye is a universal symbol of wisdom and insight.
the more developed it becomes the closer you get to understanding the world around you Ask yourself, do you feel you have the insight into why your life looks like the way it does? And what can you do to guide yourself? The moon's liquid energy flows into your throat chakra or the vishuddha and turns into a light blue. It's encompassing your throat with this liquid light blue energy and you can feel it gently flowing all around the contours of your neck. Your throat is shining with this liquid silver blue energy. This chakra is home to our self-expression to the external world. The home for creativity, expression, communication, and inspiration. The ideas and messages you release into the world vibrate stronger when it is healthy. Think of your intention with this chakra. Is there something you're thinking of expressing to this world? What do you want to say? And what's stopping you from saying it?
Gently allow the silver blue light to flow down your arms towards your heart, turning your upper body into a radiant green. The moon's energy is now enlivening your heart chakra or the anahata. The radiant light is warming your heart and you can feel this energy flow all over your upper body and your aura is now shining with the moon's silver green energy. This chakra is our home for compassion and our ability to heal. The heart chakra relates to universal love, compassion and gratitude. And this love is directed both inward and outward, with no strings attached. Ask yourself, do you feel that you're open to receiving love? Are you happy with the love you're giving to your friends, family and significant others? And what can you do to cultivate love in your relationships? You can feel your body healing. You can feel what needs to leave as magically being cleaned by the moon's energy. And the silver green light is now flowing into your upper abdomen, turning yellow. You can feel the energy warming up your solar plexus or the Manipura Chakra, cleansing and purifying, healing it. This chakra is the home to our balance of self, worth and ego. 
and it helps drive our action and our purpose. Ask yourself, do you find purpose in your work? Do your personal habits support who you want to be? What do you want to achieve? Ask yourself. Gently, the silver yellow light turns into a silver orange as it travels towards your lower belly. You feel the energy radiate into your sacral chakra or the Swadhisthana and your lower abdomen is now filled with this orange light. Radiating and unblocking and purifying. This chakra is the home for a foundation of creativity, love and passion. The projects, experiences, people that stimulate you creatively feed its energy. Ask yourself, what's your passion? How do you want to take it from this full moon and make it more than an idea? Are you stimulating or fueling your creative passions? Ask yourself.
Now the moon's energy flows into the base of your spine, turning from orange into red. It's warming and energizing the root of our spine or the muladhara. Feel the moon's energy warming up this chakra and feel the light flowing into your thighs, calf muscles, feet, toes. Your entire body is beaming with this liquid red energy. And gently, you feel this energy flowing into the earth. As you see yourself seated here, radiating with this red moonlit aura, you feel grounded, you feel secure, you feel healed, you feel connected to your roots. Ask yourself, what do you need to do? to feel even more grounded and secure. Now as you're sitting under the moonlight with your aura glowing, imagine that all of this energy is now flowing up from your root chakra back to the crown and then back to the moon. As we take this gentle journey, Listen inward and to the sound of the bowls and meditate on each chakra as we make our way back to the top.
as you breathe let your breath and your attention be a continuous stream of consciousness when you're ready to come out of this meditation allow your energy centers to send more love into the earth for healing and gently bring yourself back to your seat itself and become aware of your physical body and the earth beneath you gently fold your hands before your chest and thank yourself for taking some time for yourself in this full moon phase I send a warm embrace from my heart energy to yours and wish you a lovely full moon. The light in me honors and respects the light in you. Namaste.